account of Private William Grayson. It all started with the Treaty of Paris of 1898 ended the Spanish-American War and decided on the fate of Spain's remaining colonies including the Philippines. For this, it was also of great importance to the Filipinos who had been fighting for their independence since 1896. Unfortunately, its contents were finalized without consulting with Aguinaldo's government, thereby amplifying suspicions regarding the true motives of the Americans in the Philippines. It is one of the primary historical sources regarding the event because it was narrated by William Walter Grayson himself, an American volunteer soldier of the 1st Nebraska Volunteer Infantry. From his own recollection of the encounter, it becomes clear that it was Grayson himself who fired the first shot which killed two Filipino soldiers that led to the outbreak of the Philippine-American War on February 4, 1899. Private William Walter Grayson who appears in the photo was said to have fired the first shot in the Battle of Manila on February 4, 1899. This incident marked the beginning of the Philippine-American War. Private William Walter Grayson was an Englishman who had immigrated to America in 1890, had enlisted as a volunteer soldier in Lincoln, Nebraska on May 1898 a month after the Spanish-American War erupted and had deployed with his unit to the Philippines on June 1898. Grayson's unit, the 1st Nebraska Volunteer Infantry under Colonel John M. Storzenberg, had been encamped in Santa Mesa, Manila since December 5, 1898. During the time of their encampment, there had been incidents on and around the San Juan Bridge, located just to the east of their encampment area. On the morning of February 4, Storzenberg said, Your orders are to hold the village. If any armed men come into our lines, order them out. If they persist in coming, summon enough men to arrest them. In case an advance in force is made, fall back to the pipeline outpost and resist occupation of the village by all means in your power, calling on these headquarters for assistance. In an interview, Private William Grayson said in this important incident, at about 8 p.m. on February 4, 1899, Grayson, along with Private Orver Miller and one other man, advanced from Santol towards Black House 7. First, to their left, they heard a low but unmistakable Filipino outpost signal whistle. It was immediately answered by a similar whistle about 25 yards to the right. Then, a red lantern flashed its signal from Black House No. 7. Encountering four armed men, Grayson and Miller called HALT, and when the four men responded by angling their rifles, they fired at them and retreated to Santol. Personal accounts by Grayson claim that he dropped two and Miller one. According to Chidoro Agoncillo, General Arthur MacArthur issued his order to advance against the Filipinos the day after this incident without even properly investigating the cause of the firing, thereby beginning the Philippine-American War. Some sources assert that the encounter took place on San Juan Bridge. A marker which had stood on that site was ordered moved to Santa Mesa in 2003 by historian Ambet Ocampo, the chairman of the National Historic Commission of the Philippines. After research by Dr. Benito Legarda concluded that the shot was fired somewhere between Black House 7, within Manila's boundary, and Barrio Santol, Sampaloc District, on the connecting road that is now called Susheco. This historical documentation of Private William Grayson helped us to understand the events during the time and contrary to Grayson, according to Filipino historians, Grayson killed a Filipino lieutenant and another Filipino soldier and that the same soldiers were unarmed. And this historical occurrence clarifies the trigger for the 1899 Battle of Manila's violent breakout of war.